Okay guys, we're going to be creating a 3D case like you see here. A bit like when they have them adverts on TV and they say, uh, Codswallop, now on DVD. And then they'll show you a 3D illustration of the DVD. So this is what we're going to be creating. So you can use it to promote your own DVDs or whatever. There, so start a new project and we're going to create a cube click on the cube and in the attributes panel change its size the X size to 1295 the Y size to 1830 and the Z size to 140 basically what this means is that this is a scaled proportional DVD size. A real DVD is, well, the insert is 129 millimeters 0.5. It is 183 millimeters tall and 14 millimeters wide. So to texture it, you will need an image that is 183 uh, millimeters tall and 1,000 sorry 129 millimeters wide and you also need a side image that is 114 millimeters by 183 okay let's get started enough of that jib jab we've got a cube what do we do well we need to duplicate it so command c command v or control v and control v on the pc and this gives us another one now what we want to do is hit the C key, this makes it editable and click on this button here to make it go into faces mode bring the face all the way over here so that we get an extra bit of thickness like that, go back into object mode like so we want to choose this sorry go back into faces mode, we want to choose a side face and bring it into about halfway, just before halfway. Go back into object mode, duplicate it, and move it to the other side so we get like a small gap. As you can see, just a tiny little gap down the middle. Now, we want to move these. so that they go across the top and across the bottom very easy to do that what I'm going to do is group these two items now how do we do that? well it's very simple we, simple. we go objects, null object and on these two cubes you just drag so that the arrow points down and put them into the null object so we can just select the null object and that will move them command Z to undo them then we can duplicate it Move it up, press the R key to rotate. We want to grab this blue one, hold down shift so that it snaps, rotate it 90 degrees, E to get the move key, Alt and middle mouse to rotate where we're looking. Move it down, line it up to one side of your choice, doesn't really make a difference. And then go into faces mode, select the first cube, choose that face, shift click. So I just click, choose that face, bring that in so that it lines up. Sorry. What's the shortcut? There we go. Alt D will move. Alt D hides the the mover thing. I can't see if it lines up from here, but I'm sure you can. So you line that up perfectly. Choose the second cube. Grab that face and push it in. 
go back into object mode, select our no object, command C, command V, you know the shortcut. Ooh. Just grab the red down arrow and pull it down so it, it's at the bottom. Now as we can see the the cube actually sticks out a bit, so if we go into faces mode, select that face. We can sort that out. There we go, that's looking good. You can fine it up all you want. But now we've got this case with some cool plastic stuff. Now what we want to do is create two materials, like so. Double click on one, on the texture, dot, dot, dot. Make sure you're on the color panel. Click there and navigate. You want an image, like I said earlier, that is 183 millimeters tall and 129.5 millimeters wide. I've got one here. No, I do not want to copy its source path or whatever. And we can just drag and drop it onto our main cube. Ooh. It didn't copy to the one we wanted, so we're going to select the cube that we want, which is this bottom one down here. Select it in the objects panel. And just drag and drop like that and I would imagine that that isn't the side that you want so on our second material under texture scroll down and choose your side image which is 14 millimeters by 183 and then hit the C key to make our cube editable, go into faces mode, select this face and then you can drag and drop your side image onto there and it applies. Now you might think that oh my god what's happened to the other texture, texture but I can assure you that when you render it it is still there so no problems. Um, what you might want to do is add a um, change the specular to make it glossy it's very easy to do you can just increase the height decrease the width and the fall off and that will make it a bit more glossy like so you might want to put a bit of a reflection but if you do I wouldn't put much and then just do the same sort of thing for both there we go Now we've got to texture these side bits because obviously I don't think you're going to want them this dull, like plain colour like that. Remember, you want to get them two pieces lined up. Right, so we're going to create a new material. And very simply, it's the default full office set to plastic or the default specular. We can just change the colour to a dark grey and that actually does the job very nicely. We can apply it to our null objects like so. So when we render it we get a cool little thing and one more thing to make it more realistic is if we add a light you want to create it sort of like a down source like beyond the camera that sort of thing line up your camera so you get like that sort of angle and that is looking very cool not really anything more you can do to that that is pretty smashing you might want to add a sky just to give it an extra, you know, oomph. And then if you render that out with transparency, you can edit it in Photoshop. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Daniel Allen, and I'll see you soon.